Medium voltage GIS panel can get 75% smaller when we compare it with its equivalent AIS panel. And as a result, for sure, their design varies a lot when we compare it with the AIS panel. In this video, we are going to have an overview of the 3D model of medium voltage GIS panel. Now in the previous video, we discussed the 3D model of AIS panel and many of you commented that you also want to see a 3D overview of GIS panel and as a result, here is the video. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe because there is a lot of content on the channel and a lot of content that is coming which will for sure help you out if you are into the electrical industry. So definitely make sure you subscribe to the channel. So let us first start by understanding the basic difference between the AIS and GIS. So when we say AIS panel, what we have is, let's say this is our my phases R, Y and B. Now in between these phases, what we have is basically the air. And since the dielectric property of air is not very strong, what we have to do is we have to maintain a certain distance between the two phases, right? And this distance increases as we increase the voltage level. And that is the reason why you will see when we go to the high or extra high voltage switch gear, the distance between the two phases or even two equipment is huge. And same thing also applies to the medium voltage. We have to maintain a certain amount of distance to have the required dielectric strength. But when we talk about GIS, what we have is in between the different phases, we are using some insulating gas, let's say, for example, SF6. Now, the dielectric property of the SF6 is far, far better when we compare it with the air. And as a result, we can take the advantage and we can squeeze the things to have a compact model. And that's what we are doing in the GIS model. We are putting everything inside the SF6 gas and squeezing the size of it. And as a result, the panels can get up to 75% smaller when we compare it with the AIS panel. Clear? So that is the basic difference. Now, SF6 is one of the insulating material that can be used. Now, there are alternatives. Uh, there are SF6 free switch gears are also available. Uh, they are also compact and they are also classified as gas insulated switch gear. Now let us quickly understand uh, with the help of a single single line diagram here. So let's say we have an incomer panel. First, we will be having a cable entry. And from that, let's say uh, we, we have a current transformer to measure the current that is coming into our system. So this is my cable compartment. This is where I'll be connecting the cables. From here, for sure, I'll also want to measure uh, the voltage. So this is my voltage transformer. And from there, uh, we have the circuit breaker here after the circuit breaker uh, we will be having a three position disconnecting switch okay now why it is called as three positions so first position let's say this is the closed position this is open position and this is earth position so this is my disconnector and on top we will be having a bus bar section right now since we are using GIS gas here, uh, now GIS gas I cannot put simply into this whole cubicle, right? I need to have a closed cubicle, a closed compartment and put a or fill the GIS gas, uh, gas in into that so that uh, the overall structure, overall architecture of the model becomes very, very compact. So what I'm doing is I will be making a tank, a dedicated tank, which I'll put inside the panel and then uh, have the compact footprint. And mostly what we do is we put the switching devices inside that tank. So this is gonna be my tank. In this tank, I will be filling the SF6 gas. Now, since we are putting that gas in, into that seal tank, there is very minimal chance that it will leak in the atmosphere. And we don't want that gas to leak into the atmospheric uh, conditions because one, your dielectric strength will go down. Second, you will be causing a lot of pollution because SF6 gas is one of the most potent greenhouse gases. So for sure, uh, we don't want it to go into the atmosphere. So we have a seal tank and inside that seal tank, we have switching devices like circuit breaker disconnector and we are filling a pressurized gas into that. Remember, the dielectric strength of the SF6 gas depends on the pressure of that gas. Clear? 
So this is the major difference that you will notice. Now, in case if this is an AIS panel, this will have a simple architecture and everything. There won't be any tanks or anything like that. But when we talk about GIS, there will be a dedicated tank available into that. Now you will get the better idea when we see the 3D model. Now let us move, go towards the 3D model. So here you can see uh, the 3D model of a gas insulated switchgear. It is very, very compact. Uh, structure is similar, but it is compact. The purpose of both the switchgear is same, by the way. So you can see on top, we have this low voltage compartment. This is circuit breaker, uh, the operating mechanism and all cable compartment and all. So let me quickly show you uh, the tank of it. So you see this center part, this is basically the tank. This is having all the switching devices. So our circuit breaker and disconnector will be put inside this and it will be filled with pressurized SF6 gas. Clear? That is the uh, difference. Now I'll show you what are the different parts that we have here. Let's start from the bottom cable entry. So here you can see we have the cables entering into the panel. These are the cables. Right, so at the bottom, we will be having uh, the cable entry arrangement, the gland plates will be there. And from there, you can see this red part. This is a window type current transformer. So we are putting a window inside uh, or on top of the cables so that we can measure the current and, and give the inputs to the meters and relay for protection purpose. So you see R, Y and B current transformers are there. Now there, uh, VT is not used here, but VT can be uh, put if required. That's depend on the customer requirement on what side you have to put the voltage transformer. So either on the bus bar side or either on the line side. So that is a current transformer. And from there, uh, the power is going to the circuit breaker. Now this three parts, what you can see are Y and V. This is a circuit breaker. Now, majorly uh, the circuit breaker is vacuum type. When we, we say gas insulated panel, the interrupter is vacuum type interrupter, which is inside the tank. And from there, the supply is going to the three position switch. So this is a three position switch. You can see it has three different positions, basically the disconnector. So open, close and earth. This is this will also be placed inside a sealed tank. OK, and you can also see the power path here. So power is coming from this, going to the current transformer, going to the circuit breaker. From there, it is going to the disconnector. And from disconnector, it is going on top and it is getting connected to the bus bar that we have. So these are our bus bar. And you see these bus bars are also solidly insulated. Clear? In AIS panel, when we saw the bus bars were open, it was not insulated. But here, uh, it is completely insulated with some insulating material. Clear? And you can see for sure circuit breaker needs to operate. So it needs some operating mechanism. So let me show you the operating mechanism of that. So this is the tank and outside of this tank, you can see one operating mechanism. This operating mechanism is for disconnector and this operating mechanism is for circuit breaker. So this will help us in operating the circuit breaker spring spring uh, operating mechanism that we have. In the back side, you can also see we have uh, the gas diffuser section. So in case internal arc happens, which is one of the most dangerous fault that can happen in medium voltage switch gear, uh, the arc uh, or the gases that will be generated will be taken care in uh, this particular section. Then in the front, what we have is the stop portion is the low voltage compartment or auxiliary compartment. So it will have all the relays, all the indications and all the auxiliary equipment that are necessary for the operation of uh, this particular panel. And optionally, if uh, required, this panel can also have the monitoring devices. So you see all these small, small devices are monitoring devices. One mandatory, you must have the density monitor for SF6 gas. So you see, this is the density monitor. Now it shows what is the pressure of the gas inside the tank? Because as I mentioned initially, uh, the dielectric strength of the gas depends upon its pressure. If pressure is dropping for sure, the dielectric strength of the gas will drop and that is an alarming situation. And in such scenario, this density monitor helps. So it can initiate an alarm in, in case pressure drops or it can also initiate the tripping operation of circuit breaker. So that monitoring is uh, required. 
then we can also have monitoring of circuit breaker so what is the position of circuit breaker if it is closed open uh, what is the speed at which the circuit breaker is operating same thing we can also give uh, for the uh, disconnector uh, which can which can notify us uh, whether the disconnector is open closed or what is the position of disconnector then uh, you can also have the temperature sensors for the bus bars so if temperature is going to an extremely high level again it's an alarming situation similarly uh, there are current transformers are also provided so this type of different monitoring can be provided you can see at the bottom cable also uh, some monitoring devices are provided so those are monitoring devices that can also be supplied along with the uh, medium voltage switchgear panels now this is one type of design now this design can vary based on the different different manufacturer now this model again it's publicly available i will also provide you link for this down in the description you can go and check it out this is just one type of model now uh, as the current rating increases uh, the dimension will change some design changes will be happening and also if uh, it is having a two double bus bar arrangement then the design will completely change clear so uh, that is the 3d model and i think one more thing so you can see this uh, circle here right here this is the uh, maintenance window you can see so in case something goes wrong this can be opened and uh, maintenance activity can be taken inside the tank so that is available so that is the 3d model of uh, the medium voltage gis panel if you found this video helpful do let me know via comments by commenting helpful in the comment section and also importantly if you want me to make a video which will explain you what is the difference between ais panel gis panel where do we use ais panel where do we use gis panel then you can comment compare ais and gis if i get enough comments then for sure i'll be making a video on that right so if you are interested in learning more about medium voltage switchgear or switchgear in general then i have a custom playlist made for you i'll put the link for that playlist down in the description thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning